Hi, everybody. I'm Katie Bainbridge, um, and I work in a multimedia, a multimedia learning research lab. And today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the coherence principle and why your instincts about adding funny things to your lectures might be off base. So let's say you have an intuition that from your own experience or from your experience as a teacher that students learn better when they're interested in the topic. And let's say you even have research to back that up, like this study that found that the greater interest a student reported before a class uh, was correlated with receiving a better grade in that class, with a correlation of about 0.3. So the, you, you think to yourself, huzzah, I've cracked the code. I will just make my class more interesting, and therefore, students will learn better. And then in order to add this interest, you do things like introduce each topic with a funny slide that is related to the topic. And you add some like fun animations that really go pop and wow on the screen. Um, and you sort of add this layer of interest this way. Well, I'm here to tell you that this is maybe not the best way to add interest to your, uh, to your topics. So I'm gonna direct you to this study by Harp and Mayer from 1997. And in it, they divided their participants into two groups. One group got a normal cause and effect lesson on how lightning is formed. And the other group got the exact same lesson, but sprinkled throughout the lesson were these fun facts about lightning to sort of pique their interest um, and keep them you know, uh, entertained uh, uh, on the topic as they were learning it. And so you'd think, you know, if increased interest is going to result in better learning, this group that got the fun facts along with their lesson about lightning would be more interested in the topic and therefore would have better outcomes. You'd think that, but you'd be wrong. Not only did the fun facts about lightning not help their learning, it actually actively hurt it. So here we have the, um, here we have the blue group is the group that got the fun facts and the red group is the group that just got the plain old cause and effect lesson about lightning. And here's their performance on just recall of the information. And here's their uh, performance on um, like applying that information in a new way, their sort of conceptual understanding of the topic. And the group that just got the boring old cause and effect lesson performed much better than the group that got the fun facts. So not only were the fun facts not aiding their learning, it was actually harming their learning. And why might that be? This led them to develop something called the coherence principle of multimedia learning, which is that people learn better when extraneous words, pictures, and sounds are excluded rather than included. And their theory behind this was that when you uh, include what they call seductive details, these like flashy, interesting, attention-grabbing things to your slides or to your lessons in general, it actually they're so attention grabbing that it gets your students to reframe their understanding and their organization of the material around that seductive detail. So they will actually make that the center point of how they're organizing their information. And it may even activate like inappropriate schemas and make them just misremember the entire organization and purpose of the lesson. So for example, let's say I'm giving a lesson on the split brain phenomenon, which is something from neuroscience where people with epilepsy would have their corpus callosums cut, and so their left and right hemispheres could no longer communicate. And this actually, it, it fixed their epilepsy, but it also caused a wealth of side effects that revealed a lot about how the brain works. But let's say in my slides for this lecture, I introduced the topic with this beautiful picture of um, a left and right brain. And the problem with this is that this beautiful picture plays upon a misconception of um, left brain versus right brain, with the left brain being analytical and computer-like, and the right brain being creative and fun. And this is actually false. This is not how brains work. And I, if I'm in my attempt to add something visually interesting to my lesson, I may have actually activated this inappropriate schema of how right brain versus left brain works. And then, and then throughout the rest of my lesson, my students are gonna be trying to fit my lesson about split brain patients into this schema of right brain creative, left brain analytical. And it's going to actually change what they remember and how they remember it. So I'm actually hurting them by including this pretty picture because they're going to be activating the wrong schemas. So, you might complain to me, what you're saying, I can't be funny in my lesson? What, is there just no fun at all? 
No, that's not what I'm saying. There's lots of ways to add interest to your, to your lesson, but the key here is coherence. It is the coherence principle. So really ask yourself and reflect on, is this comic strip that I'm including actually illustrating an important concept about the, the topic that I'm uh, teaching? Is it deepening their understanding of it, or is it just window dressing? And be really critical with yourself about whether these fun, seductive details are just decorative, or if they are um, a good way of illustrating and deepening your student's understanding of the material. Okay. Hmm. 